Shane, thanks for your recent post. My problem is reaction. I react before I think. I have a five month old baby with my boyfriend who has ADHD. I love him and always want to be with him to stay as a family. He's on medication but seeks no therapy which I think would really benefit him and us. He's really impulsive and over time I have become this I have, I have become this way with him also because I have very low patience for the way he is. All I want is a peaceful life but all we do is argue and I feel like I'm in a constant cycle with him. I think I react because I'm offended as I feel underappreciated and misunderstood. So before I go any further, grab your boyfriend uh, and watch this video together. There's enough, um, you know, you talking to me and not bringing it up with him. The person that needs to be spoken about is both of you have to talk about this honestly, openly, without judgment, without argument, being two civil, rational human beings that are wanting to express how they feel and how they want the future to be because they want to be together, they want the family to stay together. It's all coming from a good place of love and, and unity and it's for progression. You, you, you're wanting to bring this up with each other because you want things to work, not because you're trying to have a go at one another. So now that that's out of the way and you're both listening, you have to tell him right now, pause this video and tell him that you feel uh, misunderstood and underappreciated because it's normal. I think most people in most relationships feel that way. I mean, the, and the reason is it's our fault. We do things and then we don't speak up about what we're doing and how we don't feel appreciated. So things go on and on and on until the point where you get fed up with it. And all during that time where you, you're not saying anything to your partner and you're feeling underappreciated, you build up a resentment because you're biting your tongue. And now it's just a toxic relationship because you, you still feel don't feel underappreciated yet you go on even more quiet because you feel unappreciated, which makes the other party be like, what's wrong with her? And then he starts to pull back as well. And before you know it, you're arguing over petty shit and the relationship's going down and you think you're overreacting. But the problem is you're not expressing yourself and you're, you're acting out of resentment. So you're not overreacting, you're just rea reacting out of resentment, right? Whereas if you express yourself and say, hey babe, I really love you and I really want this relationship to work, but there's just a few things that I feel misunderstood by and I feel underappreciated and I just, if we can work together and if we can speak more openly and freely like we are now, I really feel like the love that we have for each other is going to be stronger and that our relationship is going to be better and we're going to have a better family and future together. Is this something that we can work on? Right? It's not fucking hard. It's not hard to have these conversations. It's not hard to express because they're real. They're true, honest expressions of how you're feeling. There's no magic pills, there's no magic bullets, there's no tactics that I'm gonna give you that's just gonna make this easier or, or cut time or whatever. No, it's always gonna come down to honest, raw conversation. And you're not gonna get, after one of these conversations, you know, a magical relationship, no, but you're yourself gonna feel better which then the resentment drops, which then doesn't make you reactive anymore. It'll make you more patient with your partner, right? So that there's more of a chance for, for more conversation, more communication without any resentment, which will help the relationship grow deeper and deeper. Now, brother, if you've got ADHD, who gives a fuck, mate? That's just a fucking terminology that the medical uh, industry's giving you because you've got heaps of energy and you can't sit still or you're constantly... Mate, it's a positive thing. You've got energy. You're alive. You're a human. You're not a couch potato fucking miserable, depressed and suicidal and doing apathetic, doing nothing with your life. You're the opposite, mate. You're full of energy. You're full of beans. Mate, I'd just direct it. I'd be more purposeful with your life. I'd direct your, your energy, all this built-up energy into something positive. Maybe start doing weights. Maybe you're not you're not exerting yourself by the sounds of it enough, which is why you're so hyperactive. So start to channel that energy into making yourself healthy and happy. And by doing that, you're automatically going to make the relationship with your partner and your kid more healthy and happy. Also, you won't be so temperamental and and, and energetic, and you won't trigger your wife either. And you'll get more sex. 
because mate, let me tell you something when your woman loves you and isn't resentful she's going to want to open her legs up for you more and more mate so it's a win-win for all round so the takeaway more sex more communication more vulnerability more expression of how you feel towards each other and i can guarantee you the relationship will turn for the better right you got a problem you got a challenge come and find me